Algar Review here. Uh, today we have a very special review of Flicky Spaceships, which is currently on Kickstarter. I was asked if I could do a review of this game, even though we haven't played it, we haven't got our hands on a copy, um, but I thought I'd let the girls watch the videos and tell you their thoughts on it. Uh, we were not compensated in any way for this review. All right, um, Daphna, thoughts? Um, just first thoughts, uh, the concept looks really great. The idea that you actually physically flick your um, little miniature spaceship uh, token kind of thing all over the board to actually um, acquire resources I found was a really fun concept, a little bit different um, from just picking up and placing or rolling dice to get it around the board. And the board looks um, very nice um, in general. And it looks uh, like you can, and it has a raised sides on that board, so you so you don't flick them off the table. Because that was my concern when I saw they were flicking it. I was kind of thinking, isn't it going to go all over the place? And they have raised sides on the board, so it keeps it from doing that. So, so another thing that I found that was really this interesting concept to me, at least, um, was they have an A and B side to the board. Um, so basically what you can do, the, the board actually comes in different segments that you can flip over on one side of this, um, on one side of each piece, on each segment, is what they kind of call like the A side, which is like the easier side, which has more resources, um, and it's a little easier to maneuver around. However, the, if you flip them over and you go to B side, which is going to be the harder side, it has a lot of empty spaces. So you have to be far more precise on how you actually flick the spaceship to get what you want. Right. Um, or because there are the, they are in six different sections, you can mix and match. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Denise? Um, yeah, the concept of flicking is really fun and also the word is nice. And it looks really fun to play. Um, have different strategies. So some people I know really love to play strategically. Um, some people like to just mess with the people they're playing with as much as possible because you can, if you flick your spaceship at another spaceship, it knocks them out, losing resources. Um, so if you're someone who really likes to be competitive and mess with people, that's a great side of the game. And you can also just play it in a very general, calm way. So I found that the multiple different versions of playing was a great way to make that game kind of go all over, all, across all age groups and um, game genres and different gamers in general. So as a mom, my very first concern was, oh my gosh, those spaceships are going to be on the floor in two seconds. <laughs> That's true. So I was very pleased to see that the board game actually has that raised edge. Mm -hmm. Very impressed with that. Also impressed with the different types of strategies that you can play. I think this is a really new concept to gaming. Um, I, I definitely think it's Daphna's style. I think she would adore this game because it's got a physical element. Um, it's got that competitive element, and she would probably pick it up and be really good at it very oh, yeah. quickly. Definitely. Whereas, um, Denise might get a little frustrated with it. Yeah, competitive games really are my thing. <laughs> yeah, she's more of a co-op gamer, and I'm more of a Euro gamer. Um, however, check this out on Kickstarter. It might be the game for you and your family. Um, and let me know down in the reviews if you uh, what you think. If you decide to back it or don't back it and why, um, you can do that. Anyway, this is All Girl Review signing out.